hello everyone welcome back to my channel i have a wax and candle empties video that i would like to share with you guys today it is um last time i checked i think it's like um six five or six here in georgia so the sun is going down it's quiet here in my home just me and my dog today so i decided perfect time to upload um just a fair warning it is a lot of stuff um so yeah i got through three candles the first one is from homeworks and hibiscus flower i really enjoyed this candle and if i saw it again i would possibly pick it up scent notes are red hibiscus mango slices nectarine blossom and tiari flower yeah, I can't really smell it anymore in here, but this was like a really nice mango floral candle, and I do love my florals, so I would definitely pick this one up if I see it again. I don't have any room to put these candles, but the next one I finished was from Goose Creek, and this one is Homemade Cherry Pie. It burned all the way down. But I did not care for this candle. To me, it doesn't smell like homemade cherry pie. It doesn't smell like cherry pie at all. It just smells like an artificial, um, fake sweetener type of scent. I did not enjoy this candle. And I'm so glad that it is out of my stash. The last candle that I finished is also from Goose Creek. And this one is in Banana Pudding. This one burned down beautifully, a little sooty, but not much. I really enjoyed this candle, like a lot to where I want another one. And I don't typically like banana scents like that. This to me was like a really authentic banana pudding scent. Really good, really good thrower. I would repurchase that one. All right, that's my last time bending over for those candles. We have a bucket here filled with wax. So let's just get started. Just gonna start with Teddy Bees. Um, I got I finished Spawn Sugar, which is Cotton Candy Clouds, Beach Treats, Cashmere Cream. This one was nice. Um, I picked this up. When did I pick this up? The last um, not this pre-order or ready to ship. The one before this, earlier on um, the beginning of 2023. I made a mistake and actually picked this up, but I was happy I did. But this is my second time um, trying Spawn Sugar. It was light to medium. I don't think I would repurchase. I finished Royal Pink in a tub, which is pink sugar, buttery toffee, buttercream, fluffy white cake, and sugar cookies. If you pick this up in the RTS um, this time, because I think she had like extras or overpours, you are in for a treat. This is a really good um, pink sugar cupcakes at Tiffany blend. It's, it's, it's super strong too. In my home, it lasts all day. It smells really good. I would repurchase this if I saw it again. I didn't try to pick it up in the RTS because I was trying to get more of the new scents. Um, this ready to ship. And I succeeded, you guys. I got some good ones coming. Um, I also finished Late Night Bake, which is Sweet Lavender Sugar Cookies, Pink Sugar with a background of Palo Santo from Teddy Bees. This one was good as well. Um, the set, first time I warmed it, I could pick up a lot of the lavender with the sugar cookies. This second time when I warmed the rest of the souffle in my bedroom, I really just picked up on the sugar cookies. But it was so good, you guys. It was so good. What else do we got? All right, I got some non wet too, but I'm just digging in. I finished this in um, my guest bedroom yesterday from L3 and Baker's Gonna Bake. This is from May of last year, you guys. It's vanilla sugar, shortbread, lemon raspberry glaze. It's an old, ugly label, but it actually performed pretty well to be a year old. And um, I didn't pick up a lot of the raspberry. I just got... A really nice creamy lemon scent. Another from Teddy Bees is Satsumas and Linen. 
Satsuma mandarins, bergamot, exotic fruits, and fresh linen. This is so strong, you guys. I did this um, little mini loaf in my bathroom. And I melted it somewhere else before, too. I can't um, remember exactly. But this is so strong. You get the linen and the exotic fruits. It's a great, clean, fruity scent if you like those types. I did um, a little bit of Lexus which is pink sugar, champagne, toast, cashmere glow. I did this one on day two of the August melting challenge. Some days I will do it, some days I won't, you guys. So you might see some, um, some days in this basket. I put day two on here. Can't really see it, but I put day two. And um, yeah, this was nice from L3. It was a scoop. Um, her scoops last long and do well for me. It's just kind of a pain to have to remember that if I put them in my warmers, I cannot freeze them and pop them out. So that's the only thing. But I did enjoy this one. What else? What else? What else? Okay. One day I did Strawberry Jackie O from VCS, which is Fresh Pit Strawberries, Marshmallow, Birthday Cake, Vanilla Bean Noel. This was really good as well. It was strong the first couple of hours and then it just died down. Some clams I finished from Better Homes and Garden. Um, the first one is Verdant Palm. This is just like, um, I really don't feel like <laughs> reading the scent notes, you guys. But if you've been in Walmart, you've probably seen this one. It's in like a green wax. It's very... Um, like a fresh green scent. It has bergamot, lime, bamboo, water lily, white clove, vanilla, birch, sandalwood. So it's just a very like fresh, clean green scent. This was really good in my bathroom. I'm glad to have tried it. Um, a love of mine from Sensationals is vanilla French toast. I did another one of these. I have a couple more clams of vanilla French toast. It is so delicious. It smells just like a French toast stick, like um, really good. Heavy on the cinnamon and like butter and sugar, but it's a great one to melt in the morning time. I did pink laundry from Southbound, which is pink sugar, fresh greenery, lavender, vanilla rose, jasmine, melon, and fresh air. This one was nice as well. A nice one in the bathroom. I'm really going out of order, you guys, so just going to have to bear with me. I do got some Scentsy, but I didn't do that first. We just all over the place tonight. That's okay. All right, day four was a Melt a Carnival scent, and I did Hunted Carnival from the Melting Moose, which is Kettle Corn, Candy Corn, and Funnel Cake. This one was really nice, you guys. Really good. Um... Funnel cake um, and candy corn. That's mo mostly what I got. I did two from Yama's Delight. The first one is cinema, um, cinnamon milk. And the second one is don't be so jelly. Don't be so jelly. I did on day 11 for um, melts of purple wax. This smells just like a um, pink frosted donut. And the cinnamon milk one was really good as well. It smelled like um, cinnamon toast crunch cereal, like that's been sitting in like some cold milk or something. It smelled just like that. I swear to Jesus, it did. It was so good, you guys. But after a while, um, I started picking up on like the cinnamon. The cinnamon turned red hot. It was nice, but after a while, that bakery part kind of toned down on that blend and I just got a lot of the cinnamon. We got a lot. We got a lot. It amazes me how much wax I get through. I, I'm just shocked really. Um, but I do have 16 warmers in my home and I normally try to change my wax side twice a day, sometimes not all the time. And a lot of these are like half empties that I don't show, I only show my empties, if that makes sense. 
In the bathroom, I did Kay's, Kaylin's Flower Garden, which is mixed florals, Dove Soap Game, Summer Breeze. A nice, clean, fresh, soapy scent. Floral and soapy. I cannot melt this all over my house, but I can melt it in my bathroom. It was nice. Oh, okay. I'll do those last. Back Rose from L3. So good. This was a customer creation in Honey Buttered Rose. Cinnamon Sugar Fruit Loops Toasted Mellow. So good, you guys. If you like Fruit Loops and cinnamon sugar you should try this one it was really nice i posted on l3 page about that one finished girl next door from rose girl which is massage apple cucumber and salty sea air this one was just okay um i smelled the cucumber the apple and the salty sea air but it just wasn't like a love if that made sense it was nice it just wasn't a love so i'm putting them on the floor right there you guys Nose Farm Scent Lemon Cookie Bar. I did this one on day five. Milk a yellow wax. It's lemon sugar cookie, pecan, almond, sweet milk, brown sugar butter. This one was nice. Um, honestly, this one was not as strong as Travis Wax performs in my home. I'm not sure why, um, but I could smell it. The lemon and the sugar, but it wasn't like a powerhouse. His wax normally performs super well in my home. This one from Nose Farm Scent was, and this is Circus Jam, which is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Cereal Marshmallow Bar, and Circus Concession. I really did enjoy this one. Y'all, don't be looking at my nails. I'm getting them did tomorrow for my birthday this week. My birthday is on the 18th next Friday. I'm super excited. Get my hair did on the 16th, so I'm going to be looking cute. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about weights. <laughs> I did Tropical Oasis from Sassy Girl Aroma, which is Baja Cactus Blossom and Cucumber Melon. I liked it, this one. It was nice. It was nice. It was fruity with the Cucumber Melon and the Tropical, I mean, the Cactus Blossom. It's kind of like a green floral. Let me see. Can I still smell it? Yeah, I can still smell it. It's Cucumber Melon. But the Baja Cat, this gives it like a green scent, if that makes sense. Oh, it's so nice. I would possibly repurchase that one if I saw it again next year. I got through some of my L3. I did Boom Boom Pear. This one is nice. I would repurchase that. Fresh Fit Strawberry Sugar Cakes Lavender. I finished this off. This is from February of this year. This was more on heavy on the um, lavender than the strawberries, but I can smell both. Blackberry Love Spell Island Fresh Game. I did this in my bathroom. This is from the Island Fresh Game sampler. Enjoyed that. Um, three more from Sassy Girl. The Hunt is On, which is sweet, creamy, vanilla, strawberry, banana, and sugar. Um, this is a year old. And I melted this when I burned my banana pudding candle. It was a nice banana scent. Blueberry frosted cookies, which is blueberry pink frosting, sugar cookie dough, frosted sugar cookies. This one to me, I don't know. I kept getting like a lemon vibe from this one. I didn't get, I can't really smell it in the bag, but something, I don't know if it's the pink frosting, but to me, this smelled like lemon. I could be, my nose could have been off. It could have been sitting next to something that um, transferred, but I don't think it was. It just, to me, smelled more like a, a lemon scent. It was weird. Also finished Waffle Cone and Berries. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Which is Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, Creamy Vanilla. This is also a year old. This was really good and strong. At first, when I got this last year, I didn't warm it because I didn't really like it. I like, um, what is it called? I know this is a dupe for um, Bath and Body Works, Berry and Waffle Cone or something like that, Berry Waffle Cone. I just finished the candle. But this kind of smelled over dead, like it was too strong. So I let it sit, and I was just like, I'm just going to melt it. But when I put in my warmers, it was so good. It was so good. I did not like it on cold, but I loved it on warm. Um, 
All right, you guys, I finished Death Note from L3, which is all the apple, sweet, tart, and fresh. This is a good one if you like Mac Apple and Green Apple because it's basically that, but all of them mixed together. And it was strong. It was very strong. I did Midnight Lace, which is Bergamot, Lavender, Moss, Sandalwood, Vanilla Lace. This is from Rose Girls, and it was in a little candy shape. This is from last year from her Halloween sampler, I think. I like this. Um, it was very strong on the bergamot and the lavender, but it was a good bathroom scent. Salt Mountain Melts. I finished Aloha Beaches, Hawaiian Punch, Suntan Lotion, Vanilla Ice Cream. This was strong on the Hawaiian Punch and the Suntan Lotion. So that was nice, though. <clears throat> okay. So we're done with vendor wax. We just got a couple more, and these are sexy. I did watermelon wave. Yes, I just got this, and yes, I want it already because it smells so good. Watermelon wave is watermelon, sparkling, citrus, and tart Mexican lime. I think I did this on, um, it was a day saying like melts a watermelon scent. Flirtatious. I got this, um, like a month ago or so, a month or two ago from um, Sitsi. I did have this in my club, but I took it out. It's like a floral, sweet scent. It's okay, but it's not a love. And it's like a light to medium performer. I did Sun Ripen Berry. I blended this one with A is for Apple. Oh, it's so good. I blended Sun Ripen Berry and A is for apple. I did this for melt and apple scent. I think that was yesterday. Oh my God. Um, A is for apple. It's Granny Smith Apple Macintosh. Off okay, let me start over. Granny Smith plus Macintosh offer a bite of pure apple bliss. Apple and berries to me go so well together. These two did really well for me. Um, They lasted okay, but it wasn't like two, three days for me, honestly. The other two from Scentsy I did was Candy Craze. Candy Craze is raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. This smelled like a perfume to me. I was expecting more of like a candy, sweet cotton candy, but I guess it's the raspberry. It came off like a floral to me, like a floral perfume. Um, and it was light. This wasn't a strong thrower. Almond Croissant from Scentsy. I want more of this one. It was so good, you guys. And it's croissant, cinnamon sugar, and infusion of almond. Yeah, this is really good. This is like a decadent almond bakery um, scent from Scentsy. I wish they would bring this one back. I will put it in my club. Let me just drop it. All right. I finished up from Lush. I finished a shower jelly and monster octopus. It says, it's fruity, it's bubbly, and it's great fun to wash with. Make it slide across the tub and start your own octopus dance, too. And it was um, like a purple um, octopus. This is like really fruity, black currant type of scent. I really enjoyed this. I got this two years ago, actually. And it still smelled the same as it did before. Also finished um, hand soap and watermelon mojito. I really enjoyed this one. It was strong too, like it lasted on your own hands. This one says watermelon soda, pink rum, and cane sugar. Really, really good. I would repurchase that. And I changed out two wallflowers. The first one I put in is prickly pear sangria. It's okay, I can smell it, but it's not like a powerhouse. And then chasing fireflies. I can't remember exactly where I put this one at, but I can't really smell it. So I probably would not pick up either one of those. So that is all. That is it for my empties. Um, yeah, I just had to come and show you guys this to get it out of my, my box so I can start back over. And I hope you guys are having a nice, um, relaxed and blessed day wherever you are. I will talk to you guys later on the next video.